I was sitting at, uh, at Disney in Florida 15 years ago. I'd won the GKIC Marketer of the Year out of 30,000 other uh, Kennedy Glazier entrepreneurs. And my, my, uh, uh, my gift or my reward for winning was I got a, uh, a three-day uh, all-expense-paid trip to Disney in Florida, in Orlando. And I got a half-day private consultation with Bill Glazier, who I was in Bill's mastermind at the time, and Dan Kennedy. They both sat at the table. And I'll never forget that three hours as long as I live. Talk about entertainment. Dan Kennedy and Bill Glazier sitting at the table. And I brought all my all my stuff in from my insurance business. And I was all excited about I was going to buy the hockey team and all this stuff. And we're sitting there and we're about an hour into the private consultation. And we have, we're in this conference room in Disney. It's just the five of us. And my wife, Krista, was there too. And, you know, Dan's sitting there and listening and listening. And I don't know if he's really listening. I don't know if he's taking a nap or what the hell he's doing. And Bill Glazier's giving me some ideas. And then ba Dan takes a sip out of his iced tea. He always drinks unsweetened iced tea, right? Has to be unsweetened iced tea. And he leans forward in his chair and he looks at me and he goes, he goes, Michael, none of this is worth a warm cup of piss without marketing. And I'll, I, I was a writer downer, as Bill Glazier would say, a writer downer. And I, I, la I actually spit out my water. I was laughing so hard. I was talking about the technical stuff, you know, um, how we had great technology at McLean Insurance and I had two screens on every employee's desk and I had a team of 12 people and I had, um, I had scanners on every desk and we were in business, I said, since 1972. And, uh, I, you know, we had all this experience and all this other stuff. We had the best companies. And Dan leans forward and goes, that's, that's all worth a warm cup of spit without marketing. And it was just a reminder to me that I was, I was never in the insurance business. The only way I was going to make six and seven figures was to be in the Michael McLean and the marketing business. I'm in the money and marketing business. And from that day forward, I never wrote another insurance policy. The last 11 years in the insurance business, I was in the business for 17 years, but it wasn't until the last 11 years that I went from five to six to eventually making a million dollars personally a year the last three years. Um, I was in the insurance business those first couple of years, and that's when I made 30 grand, 40 grand, 50 grand. I could barely pay uh, my credit cards. I lived in a tiny one bedroom apartment. I drove a leased vehicle, a Hyundai Santa Fe. And everything changed the day that I transitioned in my mind from being in the insurance business to being in the marketing business. And since then, I've, I was never in the barbershop business. I was in the marketing of the barbershop. I was never in the hockey business. I was in the marketing business. I was never in the consulting business. I've always been in the Michael McLean business. So I went from the doer of the thing, the practitioner, you know, well, I'm the best chiropractor. I'm the best dentist. I'm the best flooring contractor. I, I have the best car wash. Nobody cares about any of that. And Dan nailed it in a very uh, abrupt fashion when he said, Michael, that is like, that's, that's like a warm, that's, I value that, that like a warm cup, cup of spit. He says, none of that matters unless you're the marketer of the thing. And then he said to me, he goes, if you're not spending 70%, 70% of your time on the marketing of your products, he says, you're always going to be stuck at five and six level. I said, I want to make a million dollars a year every year. I want to make a personally a net million dollars a year. He said, you'll never, ever do it as the practitioner. He said, nobody gives a shit about your education. Nobody cares about your, your insurance products. Nobody cares about how many years you're in business. All they care about, he said, is, is the celebrity, the books you've written, and the marketing you do. And he said, you have a ceiling now of five and six level because you're not the marketer of the company. You're the doer of the thing. And from that day forward, I just stopped writing insurance policies. I couldn't even, I wouldn't even know how to write a policy the last 11 years. I never turned on my computer. 
I spent 70 to 80 to 85% of my time on the marketing of the business. I got in the Michael McLean business. My newsletters for my insurance company were the Michael McLean letter. My videos were Michael McLean marketing. My TV ads were Michael McLean marketing. My radio ads were Michael McLean marketing. My millions and millions of paper flyers were the Michael McLean business. And soon as I did that, I transitioned from five to six to high seven figures and I never looked back. But it all started that day in that conference room where I thought Dan was sleeping in his chair and he just leaned forward and said, Michael, that's worth a warm cup of, of spit. He said, uh, if, uh, if you think that anybody cares about any of that stuff, it's all uh, without marketing, without you being in the marketing business, you're always gonna be stuck at ordinary and average levels. Uh, speaking of marketing, uh, my deadline is tonight at 11.59 for my world building March letter. And the reason I'm shooting this video is because in the March letter, I'm going deep on my $155 million in products and services I've sold. Over the last 19 years in insurance, the barbershop, consulting, real estate, hockey i've sold over a hundred well over 155 million dollars in products and services now and in this march edition of the michael mclean world building newsletter i go deep on my top ideas that i use to make that happen i i pick i went through my swipe file over the last month and i'm like i'm gonna share my biggest and my most brass balls marketing and sales and advertising techniques that I used in all these different businesses to literally sell over $155 million in products and services. And you can too, it's, it's just a matter of copying what works. So that's the theme of the March newsletter. This goes to print tomorrow morning, Monday morning. After it goes to print, you're locked out. I don't do any repeats. Uh, and you can't buy back issues. So if you want, if you're not subscribed, you can subscribe at badassletter.com. That's badassletter.com. And it's $3.23 a day, literally three. So don't, don't make an excuse that it's too expensive. You can also upgrade to Diamond. It's $1.97 per month. And I send you four of these ugly telegrams. But uh, you can subscribe for $3.24 a day. And if you subscribe by tonight at midnight, I'm going to send you one of the, a black one, one of my black uh, hashtag badass Be Relentless t-shirts. They're the t-shirts I use when I do my road work in the morning. I'll send one of those completely free if you subscribe today. So um, make sure you go to badassletter.com and I will send you the paper copy uh, it's about 22 pages, and it's all about my $155 million in sales of products and services that I've offered. The best things that have worked for me to uh, go from five to six to seven. And uh, my move from being the practitioner of the thing to being the marketer. And I'll share with you my best ideas of being in the Michael McLean business, being in the marketing business, being in the money business. And without marketing, I'll tell you right now, if you're stuck at 5% of your time, 10% of your time on the marketing of your business, like Dan Kennedy says, uh, uh, it's, 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 that stuff is worth a warm cup of spit. It's worth a warm, warm, nobody cares. Nobody cares how good a person is as a practitioner. That's why one vet, one dentist, one doctor, uh, will make 50 grand a year, 75 grand a year, maybe a hundred grand a year. They're the practitioner of it and they're bitter and they're resentful and they don't understand why they don't make more. And then the person who's the marketer of the thing makes 500 grand a year, makes 750 a year, makes a million dollars a year, makes 2 million. You mean to tell me you think Tony Robbins is the greatest NLP practitioner? I know Tony and he's not the greatest. He'd be the first to admit he's not the greatest, but he's the greatest marketer of peak performance. You think that Dr. Phil is the greatest therapist on earth? Are you insane? He's the greatest marketer of therapy on earth. You think Dr. Oz is the greatest medical doctor? Are you kidding me? He's the greatest mar marketer of medical on earth. Um, and you can just go down the line. Donald Trump, uh, you can go down Gene Simmons of KISS. Gene Simmons, admittedly, he's like, I'm one of the worst bass guitarists on earth. Our band can, could barely... Um, 
hold a note, he says, but I'm in the Gene Simmons business. And you just go down the list, the Henry Fords, the Andrew Carnegie's, they were all in the self-promotion business, the marketing business. And they spend 95, 85% of their time on that one thing. And that's what I'm gonna share in this month's newsletter. So you can subscribe uh, up until midnight tonight at uh, badassletter.com and I'll send you a free shirt, badassletter.com. Remember, without marketing, men, without marketing, uh, our business and our knowledge and our years in business and how we're good, how good we are at something doesn't matter. It's a, it's, it's worth a warm cup of spit, as Dan says, because nobody will even know who you are. Transition into the marketing of the thing, being the marketer of your business. That's the secret to moving from six to seven figures annually. Make sure you subscribe right now. Take care of that now at badassletter.com.